In this video, I will cover uninstalling and updating the printer driver. When Brother releases a new driver for the GTX printer or is a troubleshooting step, you are requested to uninstall and reinstall the driver. You will want to follow the process outlined in this video if you are using Windows 7 as your operating system. Please note that Windows 10 users may also follow this process. Also, you will need administrative rights on the computer before attempting this process. Without those rights, this process will not be able to be completed. Before starting the installation or uninstalling process, be sure to go to Brother's website and download the latest driver and the uninstall tool. First, open a web browser. Navigate to gtowner.brother-usa.com by typing it into the web address box in your browser window and hit enter or click go. Once on the owner's page, we want to navigate to Drivers and Firmware, located under To Support in the left panel. Next, click on the model at the top, in this case, GTX. The first listing is the driver package you will need for this process. Please note that the driver's pass 2.6 will come bundled with the uninstall tool. Once you click the link, it will open a window asking you to save the file. Click OK to begin the download. Note the status bar at the top of the window has begun filling, indicating a new download in progress with the browser. Other browsers may do this in a different location. The download has begun. However, while we are on this page, we should go ahead and also download the firmware that pairs with the driver. Here at the bottom of the page is the firmware that goes to the printer and works with this driver package. We will go ahead and download this also. You can watch the video on updating the firmware that will show you how to complete this process should you also need to update your firmware to the latest version. Once our downloads are complete, we will need to choose the Show in Folder or Open File Location options depending on the browser. If your browser allows you to choose a save location, then you will want to save to the desktop. When downloading files, they are most often saved in your Downloads folder here. We only need to take and drag them to the desktop. I will do this now with the firmware file for later use. We will now go back to the browser or the Downloads folder to now retrieve the driver package file. Once again, we will want it on the desktop for easy access. Now we will right click on the file package and select Extract All. This should default to the desktop, so simply click Extract to continue. Once the files are finished copying, you will be able to open the folder. The folder, however, should auto open so you can view its contents. Take each folder and remove it by dragging it to the desktop. Afterwards, you can close this window. We can do some quick cleanup on the desktop by deleting the driver zip folder and the now empty driver folder. You can move the firmware folder out of the way for now and simply position the driver and uninstall tool folder where you need them for easy access. Now we can begin the uninstall process. I am quickly going to change the screen resolution for better visibility. To begin, go to the Windows Start button and then type Control Printers into the keyword search box. At the top of the list, you will see View Devices and Printers. Select it and press Enter. This will open the Devices and Printers window despite the OS being 7 or 10. Here you can see all the printer drivers installed on your computer. Currently, if any printer listed is solid or colored versus those that are grayed out, it means that the printer is connected to our computer still. In my case, my Copy 5 GTX is still connected. We're going to need to ensure we disconnect the printer at this time before going any further. In this case, I will disconnect my USB cable, which will cause the computer to give a notification sound and the printer in the devices folder will gray out. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we need to make sure there are no documents pending printing in any queue before we run our uninstall tool. We will need to right click and select See What's Printing. Do this for every model of the printer for the driver we want to install. As long as the window is blank, with no file under the document name, we can move on to the next printer. Repeat this process of checking the queue for the other printers if you have more than one installed. Here in Copy 4, I have a document still in the queue pending printing. When we have a document in the queue, here is what we need to do. To clear it from the queue, we'll want to go to Printer and then Cancel All Documents. You will be asked if you're sure you wish to cancel. Select Yes to continue. Note about this process, if you have a lot of documents in the queue, this may take a moment to cancel all of them. You'll want to wait for the queue to be emptied before moving on. 
I will go ahead and check copy 5 we unplugged earlier. Then also remember to check the GTX file output as well. With no documents remaining in any of the printers, I can now move to run the uninstall tool. Minimize or move the window to go back to the desktop and now open the GT Garment Printer uninstall tool folder. Inside this folder, scroll down to the only file that is in color called brrempnp.exe. Double click on it to run the program. Here you will need to select the model of the printer you are uninstalling, which in this case is GTX. Then click OK. A progress bar will populate as the uninstaller tool works to remove the driver and its components. Once finished, click OK and close the uninstall tool folder. We can go back to our printers and devices window. You'll notice that the GTX printer is copies and the GTX file output printer have been removed from here. We can now move on to running the driver install tool. On our desktop, we'll need to open the folder GTX Setup that is followed by a version number. Here we are installing version 2.6. Double click the folder to open it. Then go to the setup.exe file in the main folder. Double click it to start the tool. This will start the install wizard. You'll be asked if you want to first remove the application and all its features. Click on yes. This should be run to ensure all components of the previous driver have been removed. A progress bar will begin as the driver attempts to remove any other elements of the driver that it finds. Once completed, click Finish to close this window. You can move or minimize the driver install tool window and the device and printers window at this time. We will now go back to the Start menu and in the search box at the bottom we will type RegEdit. You can now click on the regedit.exe at the top or if already selected, press Enter. This will open your computer's registry. Inside the registry, if there is a folder denoting the GTX printer or tools, you'll need to delete it. It is important to only delete the folder that pertains to the printer which you are attempting to install. Please leave all other folders alone. Right click on the folder for the tools here, for example, and select delete from the list. When it asks if you want to permanently delete it, select yes. You may now close the registry window. With the print driver window still open, we will now want to run the setup.exe file again. This time, the wizard will start and ask you what language you wish to use. In this case, I'm choosing English and clicking Next. The wizard will begin preparing for the setup process. You will need to confirm you want to install the driver by clicking Next. Click Yes to agree to the terms of agreement for the use of the software license. Once you click Install, a status bar will begin to fill and the driver will begin the install process. You'll be prompted by Windows asking if you want to install the software and driver. Go ahead and click Install. Once completed, you'll need to restart the computer. Go ahead and close any open programs and perform the restart from the wizard. When you click Finish with Restart selected, your computer will reboot and you will need to log in again. Once logged back in, we want to go back to the Start menu and type Control Printers into the keywords search. At the top of the list, you will see View Devices and Printers. Select it and press Enter. Note that now we have the GTX file output back in the printers list again. We can now go ahead and reconnect the PC to the printer. In my case, I will reconnect the USB cable from before. Once reconnected, the PC will make a sound for an item being connected. It will also display a message that it is installing the device driver software. During this process, your garment printer will appear as an unspecified device. It will transition to saying the software installed successfully. I will close the device and printer's window, then reopen it, allowing the device to finish the install process. Once you receive the message stating the device is now ready to use, then the driver for that particular printer has finished installing. We will confirm this one more time by going back to the devices and printers folder to show it is available and not grayed out, meaning the PC sees the printer and is ready to send to it. 
With both the printer able to send jobs directly and file output being ready, we can now conclude the process.